anything about snow. The Mishnah in Masechet Avot, and also Gemara in Masechet Menachot, says that a person must remember what he learns. It says in the Torah, Shamer lecha ushmor nafshecha meod pen tishkach et adevarim. You have to be very careful to not forget the Torah that you learn. Kadosh Baruch Hu said we should learn Torah yomam v'layla day and night. You should remember that. If a person learns Torah and one day after that he forgets, it's not good. According to Rabbeinu Yonah, it's, uh, it's even a sin. So what should I do? It says you should be careful to remember and to remember, you have to repeat or to think about it. Let's say in the morning you have a class. So think about what you learned in the morning or during the day. Don't just, okay, I learned, I closed the book, bye. I forgot about it. No, no, you have to remind yourself, what did I learn today? This is a mitzvah to be careful to remember the Torah. But there's other things that can cause a person to forget, shichecha. And we should be careful from those things. And today when I was walking outside and I saw the beautiful snow, I remembered what Rabbeinu Arisa Zal says, how snow can help you remember. <laughs> so here is the formula. Bezat Hashem. Rabbeinu Arisa says that snow in Hebrew is sheleg. The gematria, the numerical value of sheleg, is 333. 333. It's happened to be that Sheleg, 333, it's the same numerical value of the word Shichecha, to forget. Says Rabbeinu Ari, it's not a coincidence, there's no such a thing as coincidence, everything is from God. And the reason why they have the same numerical value is because Sheleg, the snow, can cancel Shichecha, cancel the klipa, yeah, the, the impurity of the brings uh, 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 forgetness? How you forgetness. say it? Ah, forgetness. forgetness. So, how do we do that? Okay, I, I see the snow right now. How is it going to help me to not forget? So, Rabbi Nuariza says, you have to take the snow and to put it on your forehead three times like this. And every time you do that, he says, even without the kavanah, I'm going to tell you the kavanah, the intention right now. But even without that intention, it's working. Yeah? Just say, I'm doing it as if Rabbeinu Ari did it. Yeah? I have intention to him. And do it three times like that on your forehead. Bezrat Hashem, it helps you. You can do it two times, three times, whatever. As much as times as you can. It's very good for not forgetting. That's what the Rabbeinu Ari. Now, the intention that he says to do for those who understand Kabbalah. He says that... You have to have intention of three Alephs. Which Alephs? It says that there is a name of God called Shem Eke. Shem Eke, it's Aleph, Hey, Yud, Hey. When God says to Moshe Rabbeinu, Eheye, Asher, Eheye, right? So that name, Eke, it's, it's a holy name. Now, this name can be, uh, usually in Kabbalah, is shown in different forms. It's called Milui. Milu is when you take the name and you fill it. For example, the way we pronounce it. So, Aleph, Hey, and Yud, and Hey, the Milu is going to be Aleph. Aleph is Aleph, Lamed, Pe. Right? Hey is Hey, Yud. Yud is Yud, Vav, Daled. And the last Hey is Hey, Yud. This is called Shem, Eke, with the Milu, with filling of Yudin. Now, there's another form, same name. It's called Shem Eke Bemilui Alpin, with feeling of Aleph. So it's the same, Aleph, Aleph Lamed Pei. But now, instead of Hey Yud, there's another way we can say Hey. Hey, you can say Hey, like Hey Yud, and Hey, you can say Hey, like Hey Aleph. So Yud Vav Dalet, Hey Aleph, Aleph Lamed Pei, Hey Aleph, Yud Vav Dalet, and again Hey Aleph, this is Milui Alpin. And the same form you can do with hay. Milui ehim. Instead of filling the hay with yud or with aleph, you can fill it with hay. 
So this is three forms of Shemeke. Even if you didn't understand, it's fine. But the, the, those three Alephs, of those three names, you have to have intention on those Alephs when you do that with the, with the snow. So basically, take the snow and have in mind, Aleph, Aleph, Aleph. Okay? And even if you don't have in mind Aleph, 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 it's still good for, uh, for not forgetting. And if you say that I have intention to Rabbein Lari, like whatever, like Arizas did it, it's even stronger. This is how you, Bezat Hashem, use the snow in Canada or anywhere else to help you to not forget things. Let's say another little thing about the snow is what the Ben Ishchai said. The Ben Ishchai said that the snow can even help you with, uh, with sins. People do Averot, especially sins that has to do with Gilui Arayot. Gilui Arayot is what we're fixing now in the times of Shovavim. <coughs> Any... Uh, bad relationships or zera levatala, this type of sense that they basically close the mazal, mazal rashet evot motzi zera levatala, right? So this is close the mazal of the person. How can you uh, fix those sins? So one of the ways, according to Rabbi Noari, is called girgul sheleg. Girgul sheleg is uh, basically to um, roll, in the, snow. roll in the snow without clothes. Uh -huh. Now, we all understand that this is very, uh, it's a big suffering to do such a thing, to roll in the snow, and most people are not able to do that, uh, and you shouldn't do that. We're not in the level to do such a such thing. Mikubalim, back then, they used to do that for fixing things. However, says the Ben Ishchai, we can do something similar that count as if we were rolling in the snow. The Ben Ishchai has a whole tshuva regarding Mikveh that he wants to um, he wants to prove that the hands of the person considered as all the body. So if you don't have a chance to roll in the snow for that tikkunim for that fixing that you want to do, if you just roll your hands in the snow, that will be considered as gilgulshin. So he says if a person can do it even once a year when you see snow, take a little bit of snow and put your uh, sleeves up and mamash take the snow all the way of the hand from the bottom to the top and to like right, left, all the way and have in mind this is kapara for my sins. Do tshuva, yeah, repentance or whatever you did this way. The Ben Ishchai said there is a kapara in it. And especially now in the Shobavim time, if you have an opportunity, go to the backyard, you know, and do that tikkun. This is also using the snow for fixing our soul and opening the mazal of the person. Baruch Adonai Amen and Amen.